So here is the pig setup that we have for our sixth uh, iteration of, uh, of pigs here. We've got the 330 gallon IBC totes. I'll get in closer there. We've got the feeder, we've got the water, have the Premier One Supplies electric netting. You can't really see the back of it, but it goes along our path for a while back there and then comes along here. You can see a fence post there. Comes on down through here uh, with that 300 feet of uh, netting. They've got a nice area and then obviously the flexibility for us to be able to move that and give them a new area. I put a lot of straw uh, into these totes. Had to remove the, uh, the metal supports and cut the holes a little bit wider. I plan on having 250 pound or more uh, pigs in these and so needed to cut those wide. It still seems quite sturdy even without the, uh, the metal supports on the top. I had to do uh, more work than I expected on setting up the totes. Um, you kind of have to re remember all three dimensions, uh, up, down, left, and right, and uh, forward and backward. You know, the, the pigs love to lift with their noses. And so I spent a lot of time, probably overkill, but making sure that they can't move forward and backward, left and right, up and down. The up and down is, is the biggest thing to uh, remember. Um, for that, having a T-post in and then coming out so that they can't lift uh, up that way, I think was really key. Something which took a lot more work than I anticipated was having to find the correct dimensions of wood, obviously these are scrap pieces of wood, in order to bracket the T-posts so that uh, the T-posts would be rigid <clears throat> in the back. Um, the dimensions of the, uh, the back area were different for uh, each of these three totes, and so I had to find different dimensions of scrap wood for each. Needless to say, that took a lot of time, uh, but uh, they're uh, locked in, they're firm, and I'm excited to, uh, to have our piggies arrive today.